In this video, I want to explore two very similar but slightly different examples that illustrate some of the complexities of conditional probability. So in the first example, we have some couple and they've got two different children. However, we've been asserted a fact. We've been told that at least one of those two children is a girl. And then the question is, what is the probability that both of their children are going to be girls, given this fact, given that we know already that at least one of them is a girl? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the formulas for conditional probability. We're going to set it up formally. We're going to compute our answer. And then we're going to see whether that answer makes any sense. So what I'm interested in is I'm interested in the probability that what they have is going to be two girls. And then I write the vertical bar, given this piece of information, given the piece of information, at least one girl. So this is sort of a probability of A given a B. And therefore, our formula is going to be that this is going to be equal to the probability of, and I'm going to shorthand it and just write two girls and the probability that at least one girl, so this is the intersection of the two different claims, all divided out by the probability of at least one girl. So we have a top to compute and a bottom to compute. And let's look at the top. It's kind of a funny expression. What's the probability that you have two girls and you have at least one girl? Now, every single scenario where there's two girls of course, is going to have at least one girl. So when you look at the intersection between these two things, it's just the same probability that you're going to have two girls. And the probability that you have two girls is exactly one quarter. There's four possibilities, girl, girl, boy, girl, girl, boy, and boy, boy. One of those four is the possibility where you have two girls. So this top here is just going to be equal to one quarter because that is the probability of it being two girls. I'm going to put one quarter up on the top here. All right, now what about the bottom? What is the probability that there is at least one girl? Now, again, I want to remind ourselves that the, the four possibilities were going to be girl, 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 boy, boy, girl, and boy, boy. Well, in that scenario, of those four, there's only one that doesn't work. The, the boy, boy doesn't work because that does not have at least one girl. But the three other cases, all three of them have a girl in them. They're equally likely. And so I can come down and say that the probability of at least one girl is three out of the four possibilities. So in other words, three quarters. And therefore, what I get is equal to one third. So the probability of having two girls given that you're informed that there is at least one girl is exactly one third. Now, I put up a second example for you and I want you to know that it is very slightly different. We're again asking if you've got a couple and they've got two children, what is the probability that both of these children are going to be girls? And then you're given an extra piece of information, but in this case, it's not just that at least one of them is a girl, it's that the oldest is going to be a girl. So it's very slightly different. Instead of saying at least one of them, you're saying the oldest of the two is going to be a girl. Now, what does this do? Does this make it, does the adding the word oldest change things? It turns out that it does change things. Let's go back to our scenario where we look at the four possibilities. Girl, 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 boy, boy, girl, and boy, boy. Well, now that I'm looking at it, because there's an order to it, that children come out in an order, there's an oldest children and then a younger child. If you look at this, the, the first entry always tells you what the older child does and the second what the younger does. And so when we look at this, we've got this girl, 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 boy. In that scenario, the oldest child is a girl. But in boy, girl, the oldest child is a boy. And in boy, boy, the oldest child is a boy. So in this scenario, we want to get rid of this. And we want to get rid of this. There's, there's two that we're eliminating. And so, sort of, without even writing it down, I can guess that the answer here is going to be one half or 50% chance. And there's this asymmetry between it. There's a difference between saying at least one and saying the oldest one is going to be a girl. Well, let's just verify this quickly using our conditional probability formalism just to make sure that we're actually indeed going to be okay. Well, I'm going to say the 
probability of the two girls are abbreviated given the, I don't know how to write it, maybe the OG for oldest girl. Okay, well, this is the probability that you have two girls and that the oldest is going to be a girl, if you'll permit my shorthand, and then I'm going to divide it by the probability that the oldest is a girl in my shorthand. The same kind of analysis applies on the top for the intersection. If you have two girls, then it has to be the case that the oldest is a girl. So when you look at this intersection, the, the one thing doesn't contribute anything. It's just going to be the fact that it's just the probability of two girls, which is one-fourth. So indeed, this is going to be equal to one-quarter on the top. And then on the bottom, what's the probability that the oldest child is a girl? Well, it's 50-50. That first child is either a boy or a girl, so there's a 50-50 chance. So this is divided out by one-half. And this is just going to be equal to the value of one-half, which, note, is different from the first problem, which had a value of one-third. So this lets us know that when we're talking about these conditional probabilities, we have to be really, really careful of exactly what is our A and what is our B when we put it into the conditional probability formula.